Welcome to session one of Guild Free Gardening with Jan King and Rich Wood at Walnut Grove Farm. Our good friend Tom tilled today and we're taking the green weedy stuff out of the trench after I just took a hoe on a line and dug it oh probably two to three inches deep. The soybeans that we're planting are Chiba Green. Uh, soybeans. Rich and I really like edamame and have never had much luck so we're hoping that this Johnny's variety is really good. Two inches apart in the trench and one inch deep is what the directions are. Usually the directions on the packet are a good thing to follow especially if you're a novice and haven't grown something before. Um, most things are pretty forgiving and I don't think you need to get overly concerned about it but we're going to go with the theme of guilt-free gardening here and be sure that you're having a good time and not being stressed out by not being able to um, do things exactly as you feel must be right. Um, <clears throat> so this is soybeans one row and it looks like we may have enough for two rows. That'll be very exciting. So we're going to stretch out our rows. I like to have plenty of space to till between um, so two feet, literally, is how I'm doing that on both ends. Ar Arlea is blooming over here at this end for us and being very lovely. And we'll take our hoe and do this trench just as I suggested. Since it's been freshly tilled, this is a very easy, simple job. Where a few days ago, it was really packed hard with the rains that we had. And I just decided another tilling would make this a whole lot easier for me. Now you see how there's little green weedy things there. That's what we're going to get out of the trench so that we're not planting that with the seeds. This where we're walking is the pathway and should have a dry place where the weeds will actually die. And if not, that's where we run our row hoe to keep the weeds from getting ahead of us. If you'd like to see our row hoe, there's an antique tool that was made in Galesburg, Illinois. Actually, my mother worked there as a youngster. And it's an extremely handy tool at this time of the year when you want to just slice off and disturb a little bit of soil by getting rid of weeds that are small. I use the blade end of that. So I'll, sh I'll give you a demonstration on that at some point, but when I'm describing the row hoe, that's what I'm talking about. And it was made by Row Manufacturing in Galesburg, Illinois. Since I like old tools and I like antiques, it's kind of one of my faves as well as the fact that it works really well. Okay, I'm going to finish up by putting these soybeans down here and then we'll cover them. 
Okay, this is the Maxibel bean that I just planted. Very lovely little green bean. Um, and we planted them closer than the uh, two inches that is described because the deer and the rabbits have been having the first lick at most everything we've planted this year. So I just thought maybe uh, we might need a few um, extra plants. And we're sort of getting out of time. Um, if you want to get your garden planted, you need to do it pretty quickly if you want to get anything out of it. Um, usually we do this in May and it's now June. Okay. So now I know that this looks like a very um, simple way of doing this and not very uh, professional maybe but it all works. We're covering those soybeans and of course if you put little green stuff in there we'll take those out. Simple as that. And we'll mark the end of the row right here so that we'll know if uh, we need to weed it with our row hoe where the row is. And we will firm it down in case we get a driving rain. We don't want to unearth the seeds. There you go. If it goes very many days without raining, you may want to just water the row. Uh, if you water the whole garden, I'm not a fun, I do not like to water, so I kind of hope that I've dug the trench deep enough and it's put them in moist soil and that if anything, all you have to do is a watering can right on the row to get the seed to germinate. Otherwise, all of the weed seed also germinates. It's kind of hard to stay ahead of it. Okay, soybeans in these two rows with a little bit of, of um, brassica greens. This row right here is okra. And on this row, we have a variety of squash that are summer medley, um, acorn, and others. That is kind of not a conventional squash planting. Uh, I'll show you um, at another time our Three Sisters garden, which is a very traditional Native American method of planting squash, uh, pumpkins, and vine crops.